Hello everybody, this is Unreal Gaming HD and with this video we are gonna take a look in the future of my channel. Make sure you sit back and relax. So as I said before, this video is gonna be about the future of my channel, but the most important announcement may be fact that I'm preparing 100 subscriber video and surprisingly for some people, video it's not gonna contain any gaming footages. You might be asking why since whole channel have always had gaming footages at first place with some kind of commentary. Thing is that I recently got a new triple monitor stand and it had reason behind it. I'm waiting when my GT Omega Pro Cockpit arrives so I can assemble it. Cockpit is going to be a huge improvement for me in terms of stability of wheelbase since I'm using Wilson Pro. Don't get me wrong, for the price point it's so good. But since I started sim racing at the higher level let's say, I feel the need of something more sturdy. So yes, you might probably guess right. Widow is going to be about my rig setup. You might be asking why am I doing Widow when I only have 100 subscribers. Well you might be probably right, but since it is, actually in my opinion, very hard to get some attention for growing channel without any reference or since I had spamming for attention or advertising my channel this way, it's very nice to have 100 of you subbing to my channel. With the things I just said, I would love to kindly thank you for your views, likes and comments below the videos. Since certain time, I'm thanking each subscriber individually in private messages on YouTube. I was wondering if to send messages to all of the subscribers, even those that subscribed to me months and months ago, but I decided not to do that, because it would look a little bit weird, in my opinion. Back to my rig setup. At the moment it's just the wheel, pedals and shifter attached to the wheel stand pro and me sitting on a regular armchair. My problem is that it's not sturdy and I don't have a steady driving position and seating isn't obviously great either. Why did I choose the cockpit from GT Omega? Answer is simple. I think it's the best compromise between the price and the quality. I know, there is a bunch of different cockpits out there, but none of them have the same modularity and price tag that offers GT Omega. How do I know the quality is uh, good for the price? Well actually, a friend of mine has GT Omega cockpit for 4 years. And even after 4 years, it's as sturdy and fine as it was 4 years ago. I think it's a good reference, isn't it? Well, I totally forgot to say that after a long long time, I have tried American Truck Simulator, but the single player, not the multiplayer. And I found out I got some mods in it. And I gotta be honest with you, not the huge changes, right? Mostly small audio or visual changes, but even these make the game look and sound better. Actually, I prefer American Truck Simulator over ETC2 in every single aspect, but since I love multiplayer, uh, I'm let's say forced to play ETC2 since there is no one playing ETC, uh, I mean ATS multiplayer due to lack of content. Shame of them, there is way more DLCs for ETC2 coming out than there is for ATS. But for those like me, I got some good news let's say. This is an official statement from 3 days ago. Quote, At this moment over 20 people focus uh, solely on ATS development and internal team plus a teamwork network sorry of full-time contractors still isn't enough. We are well aware that the games fan would like to see more content, more vehicles, more game features, more optimization, faster progress. To make this possible we keep growing our company. Our vision is to last at uh, least double our production bandwidth for both American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator. We have been adding a few new people to new uh, to company pretty much every month during 2016 and we will definitely keep on growing throughout 2017. All this new talent does and will make a difference that you should definitely notice. We are happy to confirm that the next map expansion for American Truck Simulator will be the state of New Mexico. So there is actually finally at least announced 
new DLC for American Truck Simulator, but as things went the last time, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take, well, roughly about two months or so. I don't really think that uh, it's gonna take a lot less than two months, I'm guessing. Well, other than my hardware, uh, the future of uh, the channel is kind of simple. I'm going to be uploading the same content as I was till now. Uh, my primal interest still lies on the iRacing, American Truck Simulator and the European Truck Simulator. If there's anything else worth a try actually, I will definitely give it a shot. Uh, but tell me what would you like to see me to play. Uh, there isn't much feedback on my channel at the moment, so I'm struggling a little. I would like to say sorry for some FPS growth throughout the gameplay. Uh, I don't know why is that, but even if I'm not streaming and if I'm just playing, no, it doesn't actually matter if the multiplayer or single player, it has some FPS issues. It might be because I'm running in triple screen, but I think the game is just not optimized well. Uh, so yeah, just since you get into the city, uh, you experience some issues with frame rate. Uh, it's around 30 there when I get out of the city. It's usually stable 60. So yeah, that's the thing We're just passing Holbrook. We're just gonna go through. Uh, it's just 60 kilometers till the final destination and yeah Let's just move to the parking because there's not much to see as for now Here we are back with yeah, actually, it's like one kilometer, but it's just around the corner. Uh, we are actually really low on the fuel. Uh, it's red all the way through. And the indicator, it's not going to say a lot more than a few liters left. So I actually hope I'm going to have enough to get to the gas station so I can refuel my tank. Okay, it's not gonna be the hardest parking I've ever had here, uh, but you can definitely screw any type of parking here. Uh, I was even like wondering one day, is it actually harder to park here? Oh, there was a contact for some damage. Uh, is it actually harder to park here in ATS than it was in ETC2? Because the length of the trailer is pretty huge factor in it. And I, from my own experience, even the experience of my friend, we're driving together ETC2 usually. Uh, as shorter it gets, as harder it gets. So, long, not necessarily mean harder. And in ETC2, uh, in uh, ATS, there are long trailers in general. So, I don't know. Tell me your opinion in the comments below. <laughs> I need to go a little bit forward and to have a different angle there. It's really hard to park just uh, using the mirrors in the cockpit because the distance there, you, you cannot see anything when you're at least, let's say, far away from the parking lot. So the best way is to use the camera off window, but not always it's usable when you're trying to park on the other hand. But this time it's gonna work, just to straighten it up a little bit. And we are in. Alrighty guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video and I hope there will be loads of views, at least on my 100 subscribe, uh, subscribers video. Thank you for watching, this is the Unreal Gaming HD and please don't forget to like, subscribe and peace.